looking at how to best utilize your GoodWe Sims portal, which is to help you monitor what is going on on your site for your solar energy system. Now we've got a few different system types, so we're going to look at a few different examples today of a panel only system and also a system with a battery. And we're going to look into reserve capacity as well as how to do manual grid charging mode for those Lynx batteries. So when you first download the app, this is the screen that you are faced with. Now make sure you're putting in your details that would have been emailed to you from Sims. It won't be emailed from Lightforce, it'll be emailed from Sims. And then hit login. Now the first system we're going to look at is a hybrid system. This is the dashboard of this hybrid system and it has got a little bit going on today. Today it has generated 4.5 kilowatt hours. We are recording this in winter by the way so it isn't the sunniest time of the year. The monthly generation is 239 kilowatt hours and the total generation is 492 kilowatt hours. So what you can see in this area right underneath the first tab is a little connection guide as to what is happening at different aspects of your site. So coming from the solar panels you can see 1151 watts as well as the battery is discharging 298 watts and it is charged currently at 48%. The home itself is using 1.445 kilowatts of power of energy. The great thing as you scroll down is you can get comparisons of what is happening on your site today versus the total of your site from install day. Scrolling down further we can get a little comparison of today, the whole day, the month and the year. So that is a great tool to use if you want to see maybe how your month is going. So you can see on the 5th, so that is May, um, there was a bit more generation than the 6th, which is June. Um, and the income has gone down a little bit as well. But that is because we're heading into winter, right? And that is what a system, a hybrid system looks like with a battery attached. Now let's look at a system without a battery attached. Now, if you're looking at a dashboard and you don't have a battery attached to your system, it's going to look a little bit more like this. So there is one direct flow from the panels on the left hand side of the diagram. And then there's just the home and the grid power. And that's the little power line symbol. Whereas on the previous one, we saw a little battery underneath as well. So this home is experiencing, as you can see by the little weather symbol on the top left hand side, it is experiencing some pretty terrible weather. So that is why it is currently gaining one kilowatt of power uh, from the solar system out of about 13 kilowatts available to them. So then again, if you scroll down, you can see this lovely graph uh, depicting the energy that the PV is providing, how much the load is on the house, and then how much the grid is producing to give to the house. And we can toggle different colors. So if we just want to see what the PV is doing, as you said, it's not a very nice day. So it's not really gassing up the house that much. If we click on day, we can see a comparison that a couple of days ago the weather was a bit better um, and it was generating around 10 kilowatts, just over 10 kilowatts throughout the day. And monthly, you can see it goes down as we head into winter. Now let's have a look at how we can set a reserve capacity if you have a battery, as well as how we can set manual charging mode from the grid. Now you're looking at your dashboard, you want to scroll down to the bottom of your dashboard and you can see devices, uh, inverter there, and you click on the icon of the inverter. When you click on that, you can click the configure button. And you ne do need to agree to all of the above conditions. Now you can see there's working mode, DOD on grid setting, DOD off grid setting. We'll get to those settings later, but we're going to hit working mode and select eco mode. And this is to effectively change the battery to work in manual mode. Now with eco mode, we get to select times where we maybe want to charge our battery from the grid. The reason you would want to do that is maybe you have three hours of power or you find between a certain time frame that your battery isn't charged. You click on that button and we want to select the times that you want it to charge from the grid. 
So maybe it's 9 till 10 p.m. In this case, we've got 3 till 6. We want it to charge to 100% and we want this to repeat every single day. And then we hit save. Now we can see it's going to do that every single day as long as we toggle that on. So even though you've set the settings, make sure you select it on and hit yes. We do want to turn on eco mode. And now that the button is blue beside this, it means it's actually going to happen. <laughs> Now to set the reserve capacity, we're looking at DOD on-grid setting and DOD off-grid setting. What that means is basically the percentage listed there is how much the battery will discharge and charge up to when attached to the grid or not attached to the grid. So we want a difference in those numbers because the difference in those numbers will be the amount you have saved up in case of a power cut, right? So the off-grid setting, we want that to be as high as possible because we want to discharge as much energy as possible when in a power cut, but the on-grid setting, we don't need that to be as high. So we're going to change that number click on it and change it down to 70%, giving us 20% difference. And that means in the event of a power cut, we always have that 20% saved up, ready to go when we don't have the grid to rely on. And it is as easy as that. So that means 20% ready to go. Now let's look at reconnecting that Wi-Fi just in case you're having trouble. Now on your login screen, before you even log in, hit Wi-Fi configuration, hit I know and you want to open up your Wi-Fi lists on your device and make sure you find solar-wi-fi and the last five digits of that is going to correspond with your inverter number. Hit up that and then put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as the password and you should be connected ready to go. Now once that's connected go back to your app and select the Wi-Fi of your home. The best Wi-Fi strength you have in your home, the router, click I know and put in any relevant passwords. And now you should be connected and your inverter will show little green dots communicating through to the home network.